my name is Natalia and as requested, today I'm going to show another kind of card, but this one is kind of special. It looks like this when you open it, so inside of it there's a hand that pops out, and there are a lot of ways of creating this card, and hand gestures. It's really up to you and what kind of hand gesture you want to put inside the card. But these kinds of cards are meant for people who are going through stressful periods, just like now, which are filled with exams. So um, these are like meant for a little confidence boost. But you can create these cards for other occasions like New Year's Eve, birthdays, or really just create an invite using these pop-up cards with hands inside. I mean, who wouldn't love that? Now, I would love to know what you want me to create next, so be sure to vote here in the card above. Vote to get an influence. So if you want to see some of these crafty wines in the future, subscribe to this channel, and why not share this with your friends and family so they can make one as well. And remember to hit the bell button below so don't miss out of any future videos. So let's begin. Here's what you need to create this card. Take a riffing. Let's begin. Now go online and then search for hand gestures. Then pick one you like, and it's really up to you what kind of hand gesture you want to use. When you've found one you like, turn up the light on the screen, then place a piece of paper right on top, and then start sketching the hand. Then cut it out. Now before sketching around the stencil, turn it over and then sketch all over the back of it. Then turn it over again, and then sketch all over the image, even on the middle of it. And this is a way of transferring the image onto another paper. Then cut it out. Now I just added some details on this hand, but you can do whatever you feel like on yours. Then cut out a piece of construction paper with the measurements right on the screen. Then fold it in half. Now you decide the angle of the hand inside the card. When you're happy with the placement, place the hand right into the middle score and then fold the card in half. Just to make clear where the fold is, use your pencil to just mark it up. Use your ruler and then measure out 2 cm from the middle score and then make a mark. Now you need to create an angle. To do that, Place your ruler on the marking and also on the bottom of the middle score and then fold the paper over it. And then repeat the same process on the other side of the middle score. Then refold everything to make all of the lines more obvious. Then reverse all of the folds so you're folding all of them backwards. Place the hand into the card and only sketch around it in few places just so you know where to place it when it's going back into the card. Now only put glue on the areas that have nothing to do with the folding, then fold the hand in a fan-like way, and then put it back into the card. And try to place it back right into the sketched area you made earlier. And then rub it all over to make it stick properly. Now the very last thing to do is to decorate it. So decorate it according to the theme you're going for. As mentioned in the beginning, there are many, many hand gestures and ways to decorate this card. It's just really up to you and your imagination. I hope you enjoyed watching. Leave a like if you did. And be sure to check out these DIYs here to get some more inspiration. And if you want to see the upcoming videos in this channel, you can subscribe and be part of our lovely Tinker family here. And that's Hella's Toolbox. So subscribe and I'll see you soon with more ideas. Bye!